the chemo they put me on was very arduous, and as I said, three other ladies, two other ladies were on at the same time, and they didn't fare as near as well. I don't know the results of their cancer, but I heard that it wasn't good. Uh, the doctor said, you know, with this type of pancreatic cancer, some pancreatic cancers live, if we can keep it contained, live for years, but for your type, the average life expenses expectancy is about six months. So, you know, that was a real eye-opener to me. It was, it was such, at first it was a, it was a, it was, it was a blankness that I didn't know before. It wasn't the black cloud, but it was a blankness. It was an emptiness that I, uh, that I didn't know what. I, dying was for somebody else, not for Ed Thompson. I got too many things to do. And I asked the Republican Party what I should do, and they said, well, do what you think's best, Ed, but if, if you announce that you've got terminal cancer, you've got, uh, it's going to cost you 3% of the vote. You know, that's what our records show from Maine to Florida, that you, you're, it's definitely going to cost you votes. And so it was, but I live in a small town and my business is in a small town and people in the small town were concerned about me and they're asking about my health. And, and my brother was in a bad position. He said, well, he's got urinary blockage, but everybody knew it was more than that. So I had made the, uh, I decided that the best thing I could do was to tell the people that I had this disease. I guess the common man is what I consider myself, but what is the common man? I think the common man is, is just one of the masses. We are out here and we've been told so many things from our childhood to our adulthood. We, we, they tell us to believe this or believe that and you know we, we have our job to do and our family to raise and, and money to be made and we get so caught up in, in the activities of the world that we don't ever take a break. And you know, if somebody else has tells us that this is the way to believe, it makes us easier, so we believe it, but we don't ever take the time to really look at our lives. And you know, it, we live pretty much by authority, the authority of our, of our grade school teachers, the authority by our high school teachers, the authority of our parents, the authority of the church, the authority of the government, the authority of the sheriff. The, you know, we live our lives under this authority and we think that that is free living. The common man doesn't even know in some how enslaved we have become. To, the, to authority. And so I'm just a common man, as common as anybody that could ever be. I've, I've just an average person. I've came through, I've worked hard. And, and now at the end of this journey, I think it's the realization of, did we do this correctly? Did we bring about a peace and a, and a, and a more tranquil, world or did we, were we part of the problem? And I see that the problem is, is, is for the common man that he, it's hard for him not to accept authority. And when he comes to that point when he says, no, I won't accept authority either. I will absolutely do this by myself. I must find out by myself. I cannot take it. Anybody has ever said any time before, well, I don't care who it is, I must find out what life is all about. I must find out what this thing called death is. I must find out how to, how to bring about a, a, a radical change in human consciousness that can, that, can, that can better the entire human race. These questions will never be answered if we expect some outside agency to do it for us. And that's what we've been doing. We've been expecting Jesus to do it for us, the church to do it for us, the pope to do it for us, the governments to do it for us. And it's time for the common man to say, absolutely not. It's absolutely not. You guys have never done it yet, so what makes me think you're going to do it now? I will stand alone, and I will walk alone, and I will walk into whatever is coming with, with peace in my heart and wholly open to whatever whatever that energy is.
that, that we are creating. I expect to live in that and to be part of that, to be one with that, and to extend that to each and every one of you, uh, to Christ in me, to the Christ in you. It, from the living now, uh, which is pure love and energy, and that's always here, that's always giving. We can't escape it. So if the common man comes to that, comes to that consciousness, we will change the world. We will definitely do it. It will become our world. It will become a world free of, of, of all this other hypocrisy. Go deep within yourselves. Challenge every belief you've ever had. Ask if you know, be with it. And if it's real, you have nothing to fear. If it's not, you know, why keep it? So challenge every belief, every thought you have. And in the quiet of meditation, you'll come to the realization that you are a living spiritual being in the now. You are the altar of God upon the world. The spirit in you is the holiest thing on the planet. You, you are the church. See, see the Christ in your brother from the Christ in you. I am so grateful for my life. I am so grateful for everything I have. I'm so thankful that I have got to this point. So, and if, if I had to change anything, I wouldn't be here. So no, I guess I am what I am. And I am, you know, and I am. The best word for to be is, is to be who you are. Without any, without any idea of what I should be, or what I want to be, or what I'm going to be, it, just be who you are. You're absolutely perfect right now. There's not a thing you have to do to change. Freedom's at the beginning. Never forget that. Not at the end. Freedom's right now. All the green paper gathered up with all the president's pictures on it don't mean a thing. If you, unless, you, unless you know what love is, and what you know what happiness is, unless you know what peace is, can't buy it. But you can have it free. And you can give it to everybody in the world, and the more you give it, the more you receive it. What a deal. How could you turn that down? Oh, that's the way for us to live. I'm unafraid. I know love. And I'm happy. I hope I can see this. I hope I get to see this.